Hi, welcome to the Chatty Zebra Nature Curriculum. Um, I just want to try and explain to you today about what our nature curriculum involves. So we have two parts to it. We have the nature journal and the nature curriculum itself. The nature journal is 100 pages of different templates which you can use to create your own nature journal in a way that best suits you and your family. Um, it covers different subjects. So some are completely open-ended, such as this, and they're done in different templates. So for some children, they might want to draw more, whereas others might want to write a bit more. It gives you different options. And then you can print as many of each page as it's a PDF as you want. So you might want to just do all in one layout, or you might want to do different layouts. And um, there's observational diaries, which cover daily ones, weekly ones, again in different layouts, monthly ones. Seasonal ones. And then there's different habitats. Again, some of these may include habitats that aren't in your local area. So it's just to give you options. So you can print and go with what works best for you and your family. And then there's different special focus ones such as tree observations, tree identifications, tree bark, tree leaf. So here you might want to do drawings or you might want to stick in pictures or stick in natural materials like bark or, uh, or leaves or even do leaf rubbings and things. It's, it's whatever works best for you. With weather. So there's a hundred different templates there for you to from you for you to choose from. And then we have the nature curriculum itself. Um it so it's 716 pages, but it's broken down into 10 different mini units. Now, however you want to use it is uh, the best suits you. You might want to take a bit from each unit, you might want to do one unit at a time. Um, we've got di two different layout options for unit front covers so if you do want to print them off separately you can and the animal unit is again broken down into smaller sections if you wish to. You have the choice to print out the layouts that best suit you. Um, at the beginning of the curriculum we have an introduction page just explaining a bit about it well, there's a breakdown of what the different subjects topics are within the units and then there's a book idea suggestion list now we personally we used to buy loads and loads of books and resources and we just never use them um so please don't feel you have to buy all of these any of these it's just a suggestion for if you're looking for ones to rent from the library or have a look on Amazon and if there's some you really really like or some that are really beautiful and appeal to you then obviously you're more than welcome to buy them but um I personally find we get more now from YouTube videos and books from the library than actually buying books um so the nature curriculum is broken down into 10 units as I said so we have the night sky we have the beach, we have rocks, minerals, gemstones and fossils, we have bodies of water, we have the seasons, we have fungi, moss, ferns, brackens, lichen and herbs. There's threats to planet Earth, so this is more about sort of conservation and global warming and pollution and renewable energy and it just explores it 
all in quite a lot of depth. And then there's the weather. And then we also have the animal unit, which again I've broken down into smaller subheadings. Just so we have the animals, which this is more about classification and food chains and all the scientific terms. And then there's also um, in depth look at reptiles, amphibians, and fish. Then we have invertebrates and sea invertebrates. Now we don't have sea creatures um, just because we're planning, hoping to do an actual sea ocean study unit a little bit later on. Um, but we included sea invertebrates so that they can compare land and invertebrates with sea invertebrates. Who doesn't love a jellyfish? And then there's birds and mammals. And actually the 10th unit topic, I'm going to go through in more detail for you. So the 10th unit topic is tree seeds and plants. Now, just quickly, I'll let you know. So each different 10 units, each one has at least one science experiment or observational diary, hands on activity or crafts, recipe, colouring in sheet, poem with a copy work sheet so they can basically copy out the poem or copy out a line from the poem or they can analyse the poem it just gives them a bit of practice and um, we find this works well with our children with handwriting and spelling and then there's also um 50 different pieces of artwork nine of which are modern active artists at the moment with also their contact details so if your children would like to learn more about the artist or like ask them questions they can then do that and um, the rest are sort of like classic masters like Van Gogh, Monet and stuff like that. There's also music appreciation pieces and worksheets for every unit and I'll just break that down quickly so we have 15 science experiments, 13 observational diaries, 27 hands-on activity or crafts, 16 recipes and 46 poems and they're all related to what's within the topic so they're all themed to that so this is the tree seeds and plants one so you have your colouring in sheet and then there's the poem and a copy work sheet so they can they can use it for dictation so you could like read the poem to them and then they write out how they think it should look or the spelling or they can copy it word for word or they can analyse it. There's lots of different ways and options you can use that. Um, so then there's a piece of artwork with some art idea suggestions. Then with this, we have the more in-depth observational studies. So you might want to take, if you went to Forward Woodland Walk, you could take this with you and you could find different types of trees and like record the information about them. And then there's a tree life cycle. So they could draw tree life cycle and then it has the list of words to research and sort of include in it. There's compare and contrast sheets tree structure again there's no right or wrong way of using this so um for example my son he knows a lot of knowledge and he can explain a lot to us but he doesn't have the physical skills yet to be able to write and record things himself so what he tends to do is use these sort of pages for drawing his answers out and then he dictate what he wants written and we write it for him whereas our daughter will tend to do a lot more in-depth writing to record her thoughts and ideas. And um, there's tree requirements. So this sort of thing you could look up on Google or look up on the BBC Bite Size website is fantastic. Um, also short videos on YouTube and books. Uh, there's tree worst research pages. The importance of trees, tree uses, 
deforestation. This is covered more in the fret unit, but we just put it in there to tie it in as well. Tree conservation. And then it goes on to leaves and it has a leaf poem and the leaf art. This is one of our modern artists. The leaf rubbings. Draw different types of leaves. Draw and label the structure of the leaf. Photosynthesis. Again, for younger children who aren't as interested, you can leave these pages out, whereas others might be interested in it. Leaf colour changes, why they change colour in the autumn or fall. Bark poem. Bark photography. So the different artworks as well, we've tried to include different types of art so that it's more inspirational and children can get a better idea of what's out there and what they enjoy and they can explore it more. Um, this is the edible chocolate bark recipe, bark rubbings and then seeds. And this is macro photography. What is a seed? Seed dispersal. Draw different types of seeds you find. Seed germination requirements. And then this is the seed germination experiment. And it's very simple, easy experiments that can be set up in your own home. Plant life cycle. Make your own wild seed bomb. Hands on activity. Flower poem. And then flower art. Hang off. Van Gogh, if you're American. Um, flower anatomy. So again, we've got the words that they can look up to know what to label. Um, pollination. Types of flowers. And some flower art. And then this comes to the observational diaries. So these ones are a little bit more structured compared to the more open-ended ones in the Nature Journal because these are more um, around, they're more geared up around what you'd expect to cover. So, so this sunflower you'd do weekly observations whereas the bean one you might do daily observations. So we've got one, pages for month one, two, three, four. And then analysis of what happened and what they saw. Dissection page. Illustration. And with the art ideas, we've given several different ideas so that they can think about what they want to do and where they want to go with their artwork. We would suggest getting an A4 sketchbook for the artwork so that you can keep all the art in one place and also it makes it a bit fancy and special. Um, you can get hard black hardcover ones off Amazon or other art shops. Dandelion life cycle, plants loved by bees. So there's some crossover between the different units, but what flowers in these seasons, botanical art, vegetable plants, types of vegetable plants, harvesting and planting times, and then a bean growing observational diary. So there's a starting page where they might make predictions or draw what they can see and then there's weekly like so you do daily observations of the germination process then a sort of mini analysis in the middle and then going into weekly observations once it's planted outside and then analysis at the end and so we, that, that's the bean one. This is a tomato plant growing. Now you might not want to do this all in one year. It might be a case that you come back to doing one one year and come back to doing a different observation a different year.
fruit plants. Planting and harvest plants. And then strawberry plant growing. And then we have a piece of music. This one is recipe day, the Pines of Rome. And so it just encourages them to listen to the piece of music and answer some questions to it. Then there's a flower craft. Oh. Okay, that's my bad binding. I bound it wrong. Sorry for that. So yeah, as you can see, it gives you lots of different options and it means that you can explore it in the way that best suits you and your family and hopefully you can all enjoy it and learn a bit more about the night nature and science but also about other aspects that are inspired by nature like music and art and things like that and with the hands-on activities it encourages them to delve into it more and enjoy it more um okay well that's that from us i'd love to hear your thoughts on it thank you bye